there is a special sneak preview event for the 2017 Master of Fine Arts Thesis Exhibition at the University of Arizona Museum of Art, and you are invited. Colin Blakely and Leah Lumen are here to tell us more about it. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks thank for having you. us. Uh, let's actually start about uh, the show. How important is this uh, for the students and for the school? Sure, so, so this exhibition is the culminating experience for our Master of Fine Arts students. And so whereas in most, most graduate programs, a student would be required to write a, a written dissertation yes. or thesis that demonstrates their ability to, to um, think critically and to produce new scholarship in their discipline, we ask our MFA students to mount an exhibition of their work. And in that exhibition, they're expected to not only demonstrate their mastery of, of their medium, but also an ability to take a concept and explore it in an innovative and in-depth way. So, for the students, it's a really important experience because it represents both a beginning and an end for them. Um, it's the end of, of their academic studies as, a, as an artist, but it's also the beginning of their careers as a professional artist. And so it's a perfect opportunity for them to showcase that and to, and to mark that transition. For the School of Art, it's great for us because we're proud of our students <laughs> and, and we're very excited to showcase what we see as cutting edge contemporary work. Wow, that was so well said. I love that beginning <laughs> and, and end. And what we're talking about today is a sneak preview of kind of uh, the, the exhibition. Kind of Correct. tell me what is the difference or why should I go to one or the other? Sure, so the sneak preview event, in addition to allowing people to be among the first to actually see the work in this exhibition, we're gonna have all of the students who are exhibiting on hand oh. to talk about their work. Three of them will be giving um, organized presentations about the work. And so how often do you not only get to see great work, but also get to talk to 11 different artists who are ultimately responsible for making that work? There's ding, 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 the reason why this makes it extra special uh, for us. And I know we're gonna talk about Leah's piece here in, in a moment, but what other kinds of art are we gonna be able to see? So it is a whole range. And, and uh, there's painting, there's photography, uh, there are students who have done different things with installation where they're actually trying to transform the space. And so in addition to Leah's work that, that we'll hear a little bit more about shortly, um, just to give you a preview of one other example, we have a student who has set up an entire vacuum system in the gallery mm -hmm. so, that, so that people can take soil samples that she's collected literally from the, around the world and, and let those soil samples be vacuumed up and dispersed into the air outside of the gallery. So wow. when you talk about sort of new ideas about even what art is, uh, it's a perfect example of, of, of what you'll see if you come to this exhibition. You'll be able to see things that are outside the box uh, is, is kind of a, what I'm taking away mm -hmm. from that. Now, Leah, you will be a part of this. I will. And how do you feel about uh, putting it on you know, exhibit for everyone? It's very exciting. Yeah. It's very nerve wracking, but it's also just the most exciting thing I've probably experienced yet so far in my artistic career. Um, because it's, you know, like Colin said, the culmination of everything we've been working for for the past three, three years. So it's a lot of work put into one exhibition. And so I know this is a, a, a portion of the piece? Yes, I have um, multiple series that I work on. And this is one of the series that I've been looking into for the past year or so. And this is a series of watercolors. Um, and the work itself um, is having to do with architecture and nature and our visual relationship with a landscape, especially when we view it through a architectural window. Um, so this is just part of that series, but it talks more about um, those moments on the horizon line when architectural structures or man-made forms interfere with nature. And so I'm really interested in that relationship that's happening visually. And um, you can kind of imagine it as if you're building your house on the side of a mountain and you're looking out on a vista view and you're deciding, okay, this is where I want my architect to put my window in my bedroom. This is what I want to see when I wake up in the morning. Or, you know, I walk into, into my living room. This is what I want to see when I eat breakfast every morning. Um, things like that where taking a snippet of the landscape and um, sectioning that out for ourselves as a part of our decor almost. Wow. Um, so that's what the work is about. Oh, this was so, I, now I, I see what you mean, Colin, by hearing the, the background and the story and what's going into these pieces. Uh, that was beautiful. Uh, and the, the piece is beautiful. I'm sure everyone Thank can't you. wait to see everyone and, and the other pieces as well. So I'm gonna remind them one more time when this is happening and how we can get some more information. Excellent. But thank you and uh, good luck. Uh, as we so said, much. the beginning and the end, this is gonna be a, a beginning for you as well. 
So everyone at home, you are invited to the MFA exhibition preview event on April 18th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the UA Museum of Art. To learn more, call 621-1251 or visit art.arizona.edu.